The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe promised to take up the issue of a territorial dispute with Russia when he holds a summit with President Vladimir Putin this week. Well, Mr. Abe was speaking at Japan's annual Northern Territories Day, a gathering that calls on Russia to return the islands east of Hokkaido. The southern Kurils, as they are known in Russia, were seized by Soviet troops in the final days of World War II. The dispute has prevented the two countries from signing a formal peace treaty. But observers note that Mr. Abe's tone with Russia is rather conciliatory compared to its stance towards territorial disputes with China. Well, the Japanese Prime Minister is on his way to Sochi, where he will first attend the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics. Now, his attendance is seen as a show of support for President Putin. But both sides will have to tread carefully around their seven-decade territorial dispute. Channel News Asia's Michio Ishida explains. Former residents of the Northern Territories and strong supporters of their return to Japanese control gathered at a rally in Tokyo. They commemorated the day in 1855 when Japan and Russia officially recognized the islands were under Japanese jurisdiction. However, at the end of World War II, they were seized by Russia. Prime Minister Abe outlined his intention to try and resolve the issue. Putin戦後some former residents see hope under Mr. Abe's leadership. Mr. Abe, in haste, left the rally to make it in time for the opening ceremony of the Sochi Winter Olympic Games. That's despite his very tight schedule, as the diet is in session, and on Sunday, the Tokyo gubernatorial election. Mr. Abe is expected to meet Mr. Vladimir Putin on Saturday. It will be his fifth bilateral summit with Mr. Putin. The Russians. Uh, scholars saw the meet, some of the officials we meet, have shown no particular interest in returning the islands. Uh, for the Russians, uh, the territorial issues is over, it's done. However, mm, uh, President Putin has been saying that uh, both sides should negotiate, should have discussions on it. So, uh, the Prime Minister Abe uh, depends on President Putin uh, for his attitude to you know, for his uh, willingness to negotiate on, on the islands. Many former residents of the Northern Islands wish for good ties with Russia, despite being forced to leave their homes and ancestral graves behind. Japan and Russia have never signed a peace treaty post-World War II. Whether the two leaders can pave a way to notching an agreement will be closely watched. Michio Ishida, Channel News Asia, Tokyo.